Today, I have the Contact C2 for review. I loaned it from a friend. With the constant hype around the Contact T2, I figured I would test it out and see if it was worth getting. As of right now, it's one of the most popular cameras around. The real question is not whether the camera lives up to the hype, but more importantly whether it's worth the price it commands now. From the first moment I held the Contact C2, it was clear that it's not an average point and shoot. Clad in titanium, the camera makes you feel like you want to go out and shoot it. Very few point and shoots are made out of metal. The Contact C2 comes pre-fitted with full automation features like the autofocus and the program mode. It allows you to manually change the apertures on the lens as well. To get into the program mode, you need to switch it to the aperture 2.8 and that activates the program mode. Despite the strong build, the Contact C2 is still compact and lightweight enough for you to carry around and it's super slick. The Contact C2 comes with a cow size lens, 38mm f2.8. The Contax D2 comes with an impressive inbuilt autofocus and manual focus setting that allows you to focus on your subject with ease. Both autofocus and manual focus features ranges from 0.7m to infinity, allowing you to capture shots of far away objects without breaking a sweat. The Contax D2 camera comes equipped with a flash range of 0.7 to 3m and allows you to take great shots in low-light environments as well as total darkness. Also comes with a self-timer. One of the remarkable features of the Contax T2 is that it has a self-timer with 10 second delay. So it allows you to time your shots more easily when taking photographs. So I kind of used it a bit to test out the self-timers and I managed to get into the spot that I wanted to be photographed in uh, while putting the camera on a ledge. The point and shoot camera comes with a film auto loading capability that makes the process very easy to set up and use. It saves a lot of time. However, I had some issues with loading the camera at the start and I had two rolls that were stuck in and auto rewinded after I clicked the first shot. So I'm not sure why it happened, but it took me on my third try to load my film camera. The shutter is incredibly silent, and it's great for shoot photography as well. So I took it out to shoot, and I was standing behind a man, walking directly behind him, and the camera was just behind his ear, close to his head, and he didn't even hear me clicking the shot. That's how good it was. I think this camera is really great for street photography. It's very quick, very fast, very silent, and no one will know that you were even there. That's how good it is. Overall, I feel that the Contax T2 is a really good camera. Solid build that produces great images. Some of the problems that I had with it was that because of the price, I find myself taking too much care of the camera, more than I would like, and that kind of dampens the overall experience for me because if I were to drop it, it would be a very expensive paperweight. With aging electronics being used to power the Contax T2, my fear is that if it does break down, uh, I don't think there's much I don't think there are many people around who can repair it, so that's one of my concerns as well. But if you do have the money, you should definitely get it. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe. Thanks.